There are two types of people in this world. There's people who have one to two tabs open at a time. And then there's people like me who have a million different tabs open on multiple Chrome profiles, leaving others to wonder how I even begin to navigate through the maze of websites on my screen. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over a quick trick that you can use on Google Chrome. And this is gonna allow you to organize all of your different tabs, especially if you're a messy person like me. And yeah, the process is actually super simple, so feel free to follow along. Okay, so here I am on my browser. I have a couple of sample tabs open for you guys to see. Obviously my actual Google Chrome has way more tabs than this, but this is just to show you guys how it actually works. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and just right click on any of your tabs. And from here, you're gonna see a bunch of options pop up on the screen. And the main one that you're gonna wanna focus on is this one right here that says add tab to group. And from here, you guys can see that I already have a bunch of different groups, but for you guys, just go ahead and click on the new group right here. And now you guys can see that it's gonna add this right here where I can name it as well as change the color. So let me just go ahead and name this test, for example, and I'll change this to blue. And now what I can do from here is I can take any of these tabs and then drag it over. And then now you can see that it has that blue outline. And you can see that if I drag it out too much to the right, it's going to lose that blue outline. And this works for any groups, right? So let's say I want to add this to a group as well. And I'll just create a new one and I'll make this red. You guys don't even have to name it. If you don't, then it'll just be a circle. So from here, I'll just go ahead and drag and you guys can see it'll turn red. And if I drag it over to the left, you guys can see that it'll turn blue once it comes closer to the test one. Now, the way that this is gonna save you a lot of space on your screen is by actually clicking on the tab right here. By clicking on it, it's gonna minimize. And so if I want, I can also minimize this right here. And so now, as you guys can see, it's very, very small compared to having an entire tab like this. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just create an infinite number of groups. It'll just go ahead and keep recycling the same colors. I recommend keeping the names as simple as possible because it'll take up more space if you have a longer name. And so if you can keep it to the abbreviation or even just color code it and then just keep it blank. This is gonna make it a little bit harder to click on because obviously a circle is smaller than this right here. But yeah, if you're really trying to save space on your Chrome browser, this is the best way to do it. And yeah, if you guys want, it's very customizable. You guys can just click and then drag it wherever you want. So let's say I want this at the end. I can go ahead and do that and then just close it again by clicking on it. And what you can also do is just click and drag it out. So I'll click and drag downwards and you can see that it creates a new separate window. Obviously, if I wanna just bring it back, I just have to hold onto that test and then now, I'll just bring it back up and boom, now it's back into the same window. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Super simple, but very effective way to organize your Chrome tabs. I hope this was helpful in some way and I highly recommend that you try it out if you're someone like me who has a ton of different tabs open. This way you could categorize all of your tabs. So let's say you have a bunch of YouTube videos, you can categorize that into YouTube. Or let's say you have a bunch of different email accounts open, you could just categorize that under email. Whatever it is, customize it to your liking. And yeah, comment down below if you also like to have a bunch of tabs open. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. But yeah, if you guys got some value out of this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials just like this. So yeah, go ahead and check out our other videos. And thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Okay.